I've heard through the news. I haven't gotten the chance to talk to her at all. I've called her a bunch of times, but she's never there. Worked out pretty well for her, though, right? Rinky dink little shit politician from nowhere. Now look at her. Not three years, and she's already what, like a spokesperson? I'm hearing her name used as like a reference. I see her on CNN with her stupid fucking doctor and her stupid fucking arm. Our government must act now. Ra, ra, ra. With that smile. Don't you hate that smile? I call it a shark mouth. The way it just doesn't quite reach her eyes. It's so vapid and insincere. It freaks me out. She's like the Paris Hilton of the zombie apocalypse. Think about it. Professor Mato says that, that Paris Hilton represents the culmination of the undoing of feminism through the embrace of victimization. Fame was literally thrust into her. It wasn't until a forcible injection of the patriarchy that she was deemed worthy of our atten attention. She's celebrated for being a receptacle for semen, a gift bestowed by the patriarchy. Ipso facto, Mama has become a sensation because of also being penetrated by a man. Granted, by his teeth, but still. <gasps> professor Matos is the greatest professor of all time. It's true. I had him for the problems of evil class I told you about. Critical cultural concepts. And check it. Man, so long as he lives, has no more constant and agonizing anxiety than... Sorry. Than to... Find someone to worship as soon as possible. It's just Dostoevsky. It's from the Grand Inquisitor. Professor Matos just sent me an email with the page number and a message saying, Beth, this is starting to ring some bells. <laughs> He's so funny. But isn't it perfect? I'm thinking about getting it tattooed on my chest right here. So the next time my mom has one of her little rallies with all her freaky fans, I can flash my tits at the camera and get the message out. <laughs>